Alrighty, let's check this out. Hmm, that feels fast. If I go into AV controls and do half speed. Wrap up. Alright, so I would do. Yeah, I would do at least half speed. Not at least, but I'll do half speed here. Maybe 40%. This definitely half speed is way too fast. And this, probably 30% slower. And I would also kind of tilt with it a bit. I don't know, it feels a bit weird that the camera is kind of static. Like there's all that movement, and then here suddenly it's delayed in that move. You know, I would do that that tilt to the left, the pan to the left, starting like here-ish. It's a bit more plausible and then you can cut out sooner you know like once you're here cut so you don't have the camera come to a stop so i will cut on the camera move i think the scapulas and the shoulders are a bit much that stuff is a big wiggle but if you slow it down it's going to help i would still rem uh, remove um, just tone down that amount by 20 percent And then I would add some head stuff. Like right now, it's always kind of the same. It would be neat to see that looking this way, you know, ears are like that, looks over there, ears are like that. There might be moments where, you know, if this is the alignment of the ears, maybe it tilts his head a bit. Stuff like that as you continue forward. It'd be kind of cool. But yeah, this. Your internet activity over the last 10 years is being. 10 years is still the same though. Last 10 years is being. Still 10 years. Years, you know what I mean? It's be years. E. Last ten years is being scrutinized and cataloged, and it still feels um, like it's a mirror. Like you gotta put some asymmetry in the lip sync. Is being scrutinized and cataloged. Being scrutinized and cataloged in minute, vivid detail. Ooh, the head check is nice. Scrutinized and cataloged. Here, when he goes from here into this, there's nothing going on here. Even if you just do like an eye dart from one eye to the other, is going to help, or a bit of a a bit higher eyelids for a bit of a flare. Just because once you go and he continues the line, there's still nothing on in the face. But if you do, if you look at someone, you go in minute. Just muscle-wise, if you start saying things, it's going to activate and fire some stuff. So you can have a tiny bit of eyebrow raise. Something has to happen before, at least before. In my new right before it says, in my nude. In my nude. In my nude. Careful, your arc on that is weird. If you track the fingers, it goes up here, up here, up here, up here. Suddenly to the right, suddenly down. You're doing this as opposed to a, a circle. So watch your arcs there. Vivid detail. Your wrist is drifting up at the end. Watch that. Vivid detail. Your internet activity over the last 10 years is being scrutinized and cataloged. In minute. This feels a bit weird how this arm goes up. His screen right one? Oh, the, his left and screen right one. I guess you're saying this goes up, so there's more weight on this. But then if this goes down, to me, it would feel like that hand will go up. Like this part of the chair goes, look, goes down because all the weight is here now. But when that happens, it's actually the opposite. You know what I mean? Like this section goes down as opposed to up. All the weight's gone from here because that arm goes up. So I would look at that mechanics wise. And then at the same time, when that hand, uh -huh, this part comes back down, boom, that would definitely impact his hand. And this would have to go a bit lower. It would, you would see some 
impact animation just a bit so you feel the contact right now there's nothing going on there in, in his right hand your internet activity over the last 10 years is being scrutinized and catalogued in minute vivid detail yeah it's cool Ooh, little things little details uh and yeah it's actually it's true you can do I mean, you can do a little looky look here, the whole thing, and you can like put like you know a door. I mean, I, I agree, it could be something designated that this is a door. I mean, you know, by the time this happens, we understand what's going on. But what you can do is change the colors of the interior so that this doesn't blend the door in the back. Careful in terms of animation. See how that wrist is just going back, almost in the same rotation, and it's. It's a bit feels a bit IK and then you pop over one frame. And then you have this moment here. See this where this goes from here to here, but then the wrist orientation is the same. So watch out for that. See this is a full IK arm going back. So you have to always be careful about arcs and wrist orientation. This is still weird to me that it's such a wide look over there as opposed to a bit more towards us or here. What are you doing there, Reynolds? Your DVD player broken? That's cool. I kind of disagree with this. This feels really cartoony. Where he, where he sees this, right, and goes, Ugh. Such a big drop on shoulders in the face. What are you doing here, Reynolds? Your DVD player broke? Because the voice is a bit more sarcastic. and it's, You know, there's not that much of a desperation or a huge... That emotion here from here to here is a huge change. But then the voice is very flat and contemplated and it, it doesn't quite match what you're doing emotionally here, if that makes sense. I will personally tone this down. You can You can stay, you know somewhere around here but not that even the eyebrows are a bit much but the shoulder stuff is huge and i still don't understand what's going on here like the head is the size you know if you look at the head and the fists you know what i mean like what is going on here i mean it's uh let me know what kind of lens you have you know if this is a 35 i will we go to a 60 or something you have to move your camera back but um this just feels really weird scale wise and you're also low where you know compositionally the weird thing is we're in the middle it's your center and he's it's just centered a lot and it will almost be nice if he would be a bit more here obviously you know if he's bigger this feels a bit better because then you have um the thirds, which is, you know, the cliche thing to say, the thirds in your composition, but it helps. So that at the end, your character is here and the other guy is here. You know what I mean? Like there's a bit more, a, bit of, a nicer balance in terms of composition. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.